Okay, sometimes the K nearest neighbors classifiers may be a better alternative to logistic regression. And in this approach, we specify different numbers of closest neighbors to a given point. In this case, the new data is a star. And we can specify how should this star be classified as one of the crosses, the smaller stars, or something like an A. By specifying the number of neighbors closest to this star. And this is how we do things. We will compare different types of analysis. And we will do logistic regression or linear discriminant analysis or quadratic discriminant analysis. And we will do k nearest neighbors with different numbers of closest neighbors pre specified. And then we just compare the percentage of correct prediction and the test error rates among the different models. And sorry, I'm a step ahead of myself. So we learn our data using the training data set and we test the accuracy of our models using the test data set. So the percent correct prediction is obtained from the training data set and the test error rate is obtained from the test data set or the validation data set. And we just compare these two percentages across the different types of analysis. Okay, and we put more emphasis on the test error rate. And it seems that in this case, the logistic regression is better than the K nearest neighbor classifiers approach because it has a lower test error rate. But if we just look within the different closest neighbors selected for K nearest neighbor, this would be more preferable. It has a higher percentages of correct prediction from the training data set and it has a lower test error rate. So we should specify two closest neighbor because it gives the highest percentages of correct prediction and the lowest test error rate. So this is what we mean by a confusion matrix. You can Google the term. But in this case, the logistic regression is still more preferable than the other techniques. And these are all classification techniques, even though their procedures differ. And as you can see, as we increase the number of closest neighbor, the stability of prediction is going to increase, but the errors are also going to increase. And when we see that, we may need to select a model with fewer closest number of neighbors. And I think we see that in this example. As we increase the number of closest neighbor, the error increase. As we increase the number of closest neighbor from 1 to 2, the error initially reduces. 
by about 5% or 4 to 5%. And as we increase the number of closest neighbor from 2 to 3, the error increased by about 8%. And as we increase the number of closest neighbor from 3 to 4, the error remains the same. And as we increase the number of closest neighbor from 4 to 5, the error increase again by 4%. So, in this case, we may need to select if we want to use k nearest neighbor as our analysis approach. We may need to select two closest neighbor when we run our models because the test error rate is lowest when we have two closest neighbors. So, that's the main idea behind the K nearest neighbor classification approach.